Boo humans, I'm Yo Shuller, and welcome back to some more Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Don't let the exhaustion fool you, I'm raring to go. I'm only exhausted because in the previous part, I arrived here in the Boggly Woods. I fought a bunch of enemies and I even fought the three shadows. After defeating them, I obtained Flurry's necklace and now I'm gonna go ahead and return it to Flurry so that I can go ahead and hopefully get her to join me to, to utilize her air powers to find the secret entrance to the Boggly Tree. Yep, we're just jumping right into it this time around, folks. And in fact, you know what I'm even gonna do? Never mind, I was, I was thinking about swapping over to Koops, actually, so we'll swap. We'll do this, because Goombella can't jump on them. And then we'll go ahead, and we'll just whack this normal one with a hammer. Here we go, boom, 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 whoop. There we go, got the double stylish on that one. Can I get the super guard? Let's see how I do, and... I got it, I did it, folks! I actually got the super guard! Except I can't really damage this enemy otherwise. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a way to deal damage to it. Like, if I do shell toss to it, it's gonna do nothing, because it has a defensive two. Well, oh well. I'm just gonna have to go ahead and appeal then. Don't worry, even though I'm exhausted. Oh wait, no, no, no. Even though I'm exhausted, I'm totally fine. Come to think of it, I didn't really even have to swap to Coops. I could have just left Goombella out and rolled with it, but it's fine. I'll get the super guard right now. <gasps> what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What other secondary effects are we getting? Plus defense three! Well, that's nice and all, but this fight's gonna be over in just a moment. Darn it! Okay, you know what then? I will. <laughs> I. I, I... <laughs> I will switch Mario over here then. Okay. Uh, I can power smash, you know, but it seems like such a waste. Let me actually practice getting my super guard. All right, so we're gonna appeal. There you go, there you go, Koops. Thanks for the appeal. Oh, a mushroom? That's actually real generous of you. Yeah, you know what, I'll take one of those. Thank you. I'm gonna use that mushroom right now on my good buddy Mario here. All right, we're gonna get it right here. Right now, we're just starting things off with a very slow battle, and I'm sorry it's taking that long. This would have been over if I could actually land my super guard timing. There we go! Now I got it. This battle is over, and I'm getting my four star points. Hey, at least though, at least I was able to show showcase a secondary effect of that wizard creature that I paid for back before I even started this chapter. They can double your star points, and apparently they can just randomly give you status buffs in the middle of a battle. I'm glad I was able to showcase that. Okay, anyway. We gotta go back over to Madame Flurry, and you know what, while I'm here, while I'm here, because I have been using my items, I wanna buy something else from you, okay? It turns out, you are actually gonna get a lot more business from me than I originally anticipated, okay? I was like, I don't wanna give you any money, and then I saw that your items are actually reasonably priced, in contrast to the badges that you're selling in Rogueport, and because there's no other shop here, you're my best bet, okay? So, I'm taking it. Thank you. All right. There, I just wanted the POW block, another item that I can use to damage all the enemies on the field if push comes to shove. And I have a feeling I will be pushing and shoving in due time. But for now, we're just gonna go back to Flurry's place, visit it in the previous part. She didn't want to leave without her necklace. I got her necklace, and trust me, I understand. You have an appearance that you like to have. It's like having a character you want to portray. You gotta have the whole outfit. So trust me, I get it. And also, I believe... Oh, okay, I'll fight you real quick. There, oh, there we go. There it is. That's what I was looking for. The star piece. I didn't grab this on the way over here. Frankly, I forgot. I remember that there was something over here. I just had it in the wrong spot. It was this tree that had it. And now I'll go ahead and whack you with a hammer. We'll eliminate you real quickly. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, baby. Give me that double stylish. All right. And now what I'm about to do, because I see that enemy in the back, is going to be a bit of a nuisance. Frick, I can't take it out right now. Darn it! Darn it all! I got Koops out right now! Well, I can at least do this. I can do... Boom! Boom! Alright, couldn't quite get the stylish. Alright, Koops. I guess we're gonna switch back to Goombella. Sorry! I just keep switching back and forth. This is gonna hurt, though. Forgive me for this. Oh! Five damage! It's such a small number in the grand scheme of things, but it means so much in Paper Mario! Oh, God. Alright, here we go. Boom! Boom! There we go! Sorry, I keep switching to Koops because I keep fighting Piranha Plants, and then I keep switching back to Goombella because I keep fighting these cloud enemies. It's okay, we're gonna make it work. We are gonna be just fine, all right? I got my star piece, I'm getting all these coins. Things are gonna be handy dandy, my controller's still vibrating as I go through these flowers. And if I really want to, I can heal right here. And you know what? This time, I do really want to. That'll restore all my HP and my FP, and that's gonna be great. I should have done that before I fought the three shadows in the previous part, but eh, I'm fine. Also, if I go here, I can get another star piece. So yeah, there were actually two star pieces on this screen within close proximity to each other. And I checked the completely wrong place in the previous part and missed both of them. But I have them both now, don't worry. 
I will get them all. If there is ever another star piece that I miss in the future, you better believe that in some future video I will go back and get it. But for now, just to demonstrate my thoroughness, I want to obtain the star pieces as they were accessible to me now. All right, Madam Flurry, I have your necklace. But you don't want me to see you without your necklace, right? So you, do, you, do you just want me to leave it like in front of the door and then you can kind of like just reach your arm around and grab it? Oh, poor me. When, oh, when will I see my precious necklace again? You mean this necklace right here? Oh, you delightful fellow. You found my necklace. I am beside myself, truly. But you still mustn't see me. Please leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Now I understand. It's like when you hand someone a towel because they forgot to bring a towel into the shower room. Just leave it there. There you go. Totally get it. Oh, splendid, splendid! My oh-so-ravishing necklace! I am awash with joy! Oh my word, Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Hmm, perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little uh, sugar? Here I come, handsome. Time to give you a proper thank you. Pucker up. Oh, that was quite the smooch. It knocked me out. Oh, aren't you just the cutest little thing I've ever laid my eyes on? Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal star spoken of by all the lowlifes in Rogueport. Hmm, <laughs> a danger-filled search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous. And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare, that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So, I dare say, I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. I suppose that's fine, if there's more smooches where that came from. As long as Gubella doesn't mind, she seemed to take slight offense when Ms. Bowles gave me one earlier. And there we go! Flurry has joined the party! Just like that, we've got another party member. Flurry's abilities, a primer. While pressing X, Flurry will exhale strong gusts of wind that can blow things away. Hold down X to blow the paper away. Yeah, so you may recall in earlier parts of the game, we saw little areas where there was a tiny fold in the top right corner, or just in the corner in general. You can now blow those away using Flurry's Gale abilities. If she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a bit. Yes, so in similar vein, this isn't this is not something I use very often, but frankly, I ought to. If you use the gust of wind on the overworld, you can stun enemies and therefore make it easier for yourself to get a first strike. That includes this primer. Do you feel like you've mastered Flurry's abilities? Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You press X, you can blow gusts of wind, and they can use that to remove panels or to stun enemies. She can also squash enemies in battle with a body slam or blow them all away with gale force. I suppose I can try to demonstrate this in just a moment. I will be battling with her. This is wonderful! It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great! And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us! Let's go to the Great Tree! Yeah, I mean, if you're not opposed to traveling the world with us, you're more than welcome to tag along. We could use a couple of celebrities here. And Coops and Goombella, as long as they don't mind, it's fine. I mean, we haven't really needed to stop for food or anything, and we haven't really needed to stop at a hotel and share beds. That's a whole other thing. When you have a group of four, usually you gotta share beds two and two. I suppose the most practical way to share a bed with the four of us would be to do boys in one bed and girls in another, right? That way there's no funny business going on, but I don't know. I don't know if Goombella would want to share a bed with Flurry. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, actually, it's probably the other way around. I don't know if Flurry would want to share a bed with Goombella. But in any case, let's go ahead and do a battle with Flurry in our party now. So Flurry has the ability to strike enemies regardless of their height, which is the same thing that Goombella can do. Flurry cannot damage enemies that are flying, however. So what we'll want to do is we'll want to go ahead and use Body Slam. Uh, we'll do it on the enemy in the back here. So we want to line up the reticle inside this. Here we go. 
and then you can go ahead and press A afterward to get the stylish bonus. So, you might be wondering, okay, so it's just another aerial based attack. What is the purpose of that? Why use Flurry over Goombella? Well, I won't be able to demonstrate it right now, but later on, we'll have enemies that are on the ceiling. Oh, there you go, Flurry. That's your first time getting hit in this game. I hope you've enjoyed it. I suppose the other attack I can do is Gale Force. I'll demonstrate that real quickly. Here we go, we gotta hold the A button down and then let go and then hold it down and then hold it down and then let go and then hold it down. It's like you're breathing. Go, there you go. How's that? It was, en it was enough to get rid of that cloud enemy. That's an instant victory. And then I can go ahead and use Power Smash to attack this. So going on the point I was talking about before, there are gonna be enemies that come up in the future that will be on the ceiling. If they are on the ceiling, Goombella cannot reach them, but Flurry can. So now we're gonna deal with spiked enemies, flying enemies, and ceiling enemies. Oh, and I got myself a dizzy dial, nice. So Goombella and Flurry are both good for flying enemies, but only Flurry can hit the ceiling enemies. Oh goodness, okay, let's see if I can, let's see if I can super guard this. Ah, oh, got it! Usually, <laughs> I mean, I, I was gonna say usually I can't, but no. More recently, I haven't been able to. All right, in any case, Quake Camera's not gonna do a whole lot, so my best bet of taking you out in an efficient manner would be to either use Earth Tremor or an item. I'm gonna go ahead and use an item because that's kind of why I bought it, was to primarily take you out. We're done. Hope you enjoyed that, Flurry. Yeah, don't, don't worry about those guys. We're just gonna use Pal Blocks for them. And with any luck, I'll soon be beyond this point and won't have a need for Pal Blocks. And by the time I come back here and we'll fight enemies like that again, hopefully I'll grow ever stronger, but still, Having Flurry in my party at all at least allows me to take more hits. I can swap party members out. It just doesn't make me stronger toward fighting them. All right, hang on. So I got an email. So over the course of the game, you'll get these random emails. The RDM premiere issue, I guess is what it is. And it's just kind of like a little newsletter telling you what's going on in Rogueport. They can be funny if you read them. I'm not going to really sit down here and read the whole thing right now. It can provide some lore tidbits and it helps provide some more in-depth characterization to the characters within this world. But otherwise, obviously the game did not stop me and force me to read this. So it's not really plot relevant. It, it's just, it, it can give you some like nice hints towards stuff, I suppose. These things do give you slight insight on some other things that exist in the game. So earlier I was using Zesty's place to cook some new foods. This kind of gives you a hint that you can get mushroom fry, but otherwise, you don't really need to read these. It does provide lore for the game, but otherwise you can just go ahead and throw these letters into the spam folder. All right, I guess we're good right now then. I don't think I'm gonna need to buy more items from that merchant there. I bought enough. I keep saying I'm done and then I keep double guessing myself and I'm, I'm just done. No more items from him, all right? It's cool that he's here. It's a nice addition to this game. I've definitely utilized his services, but otherwise I am done. Oh, and then you're here now. You weren't here in the original Paper Mario. But you know what? I haven't even bothered talking to you, really. Let's go ahead and see. Hey, kiddo, you need something from the old Battle Master? Tell me secrets of battle. What do you want to know? I want to know... Let's see. Mmm... Nice, good, great, etc. Let's learn about that real quickly. When you succeed on an action command, you'll pull a bunch of star power from up the crowd. The amounts of star power will increase in the order of nice, good, great, wonderful, and excellent. You can use the simplifier badge to make those action commands easier, but you'll get less star power. You can also use the unsimplifier badge to make them harder if you want a little extra star power. Okay, and let's talk about... Yeah, star power and stylish moves. If you really want to rack up some star power, get good at, get good at using stylish moves, kiddo. You do that by pressing A with real good timing when you or your partner attack an enemy. You'll be able to tell you pulled it off by little changes in how the move looks. You can use the timing tutor badge to show you the A icon when the right time when it's the right time to show off. I might actually do that later because I don't remember the stylish timings for a couple of these attacks. All oh, right, if you want to practice these, I can help you practice them with my practice action command stick. So what do you say we go ahead and give that a try? So we'll back out of here. Anything else, kid? Let's practice some action commands. Just because we have Flurry in the party now. Outstanding! Let's get down to business. Yeah, and this is a new song, too. I mean, this whole character is new, so everything here is going to be... Wait, hang on. This song is from Paper Mario the Origami King. I know this because it's probably my favorite song in that game. But that's pretty cool that it's here. All right, so let's practice some moves. All right. You want to practice moves? Sure. Ready to go? I'm ready. All right, so I feel pretty comfortable with Mario's attacks. It would mainly be Flurry that I would, would want to mess with, and let's see. 
Swap partner, stop. All right, so no, no, we're good. But just to do it real quickly, let's go ahead and get the quake camera going. Just because I don't use this attack that often. Boom. So there you go. That That's all there is to it. Okay, and then the A button is right after it all. So I want to do it again. So boom. It's There you go. Boom. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time. Okay, so there is just a pause afterwards. So it's after the damage goes through. Boom. Boom. Okay. So that, I'm going to see if I can get the double real quickly. Because I, I, I like never use Quake Camera. Oh, too fast. But you can still get the stylish. Okay, so you do want to press A immediately after Mario returns to the floor. Okay, got it. There you go, and then we can do... Boom. Oh, wow. Hang on, I, I will get the hang of this. This is not going to be the entire video, but I figure it, I should learn this because I do intend to use this attack later on. There we go. So just a double stylish for that. Now, Flurry, well, let's try your Gale Force real quickly. So we'll do... Huh? So we do hoop, <gasps> hoop, <gasps> hoop, <gasps> hoop, <gasps> hoop, <gasps> hoop. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then, can you, okay, so you can get a stylish for it. So we'll try it again, all right? Forgive me for the obnoxious commentary. Foo ha, foo ha, foo ha, foo ha, foo ha, foo. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. And then right there, stylish, just that. Okay, and then the body slam I already demonstrated, but I'll do it again real quickly. We line up the reticle right here in the center. There you go, boom, and then right, oh. Right as you land on them, I guess is what it is. I thought it was, I guess it is like technically right after. I thought it was right after. Let's get it again. I'm glad this exists in the game though. There you go, style it. It's right as you land on them. Very good. Okay, I guess I can like, if I really want to, I could double check to see what it is with like Koops and all that. But otherwise, like I'm a little more comfortable with Koops and Goombella. Flurry is not one that I used all that often, but now I've got the hang of it. All right, so we'll do Hoppa. Oh, I, oh, I tried pressing A there. Let me let me get this one more time, and then I'll back out of this tutorial. There you go, and then boop. Cool. All right, we'll swap back to Flurry, and I think we're done. So I'll go ahead and exit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you looking to train up in? I guess I can practice guarding. I want to practice my super guards. All right, you want to practice guarding? Sure, ready to go? I'm ready. All right, Flurry, if you can take it, we'll be ready. There you go. So we're going to practice the super guard. There you go. Well, you make it so easy, Toad, and I appreciate it. It must mean that you're a good teacher, but otherwise, I just can't do it normally. Not all the other attacks are that well choreographed. All right, one more time for good luck. There you go. All right, get in the hang of it, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I guess we're done here, then. Thank you, Toad. Glad you exist in this game. Just a nice, harmless addition to this game to make players better at it. Hopefully, I'll be an expert in super guarding as the walkthrough goes along. You know anything else? No, that was great. Thank you. Gotcha! Give me some time to figure out a few new secrets and come back whenever. Oh yeah? New secrets, huh? Maybe as I get more party members, I'll come back whenever. Alright, so... Let's see. Where do we think a secret entrance would be, huh? You said it was right up top here when I visited last, and that we could use Flurry's Gust of Wind to try and reveal it. So if I stand up here, as the camera pans over and I press the X button... Oh, something's moving! And... There it is! Secret entrance! That must be it! That's the secret entrance! We can finally get inside! Here I go! Yeah, I, I, I can't fit in there. I mean, maybe I can kick Koops' shell through there, but yeah. Are oh, its punies just the most precious little things? Mario, I feel I must ask, did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Flurry the world over. But the filthy air outside, the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize. I shall ever love the stage! I must feel the spotlight shine on me again! I must! As you can see, these dear little punies have helped me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? It was nice to get some quick insight from Flurry there, a little more insight into her character, because otherwise we did just kind of spontaneously meet her and then she spontaneously joined me. Koops had the motivation of wanting to rescue his father and Goombella is just helping me with because she wants to benefit her own research. Flurry, well, she wants to get back on the stage and we're going to be on all sorts of stages as I do all sorts of battles, so this works out for me. Check it out, I was able to open it from the inside. Come on, over here. Anyway, thanks for joining me, Flurry. The time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. I guess she also wants to repay her debt to the punies. There's that too. All right, well, if you're ready, then I'm ready. Let's head on inside. 
and see what dangers are in store. What lurks within this great tree? The great tree, the first floor. All right, I know you can knock these little bushes over, but I don't think, oh, well, that one gave me a coin. I don't think there's any like collectibles here. The occasional coin, sure, but not much else beyond that. Uh, hmm, weird. Normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder, everybody, come out! Hello? Oh? Huh. You know, I was thinking the Elder would look a lot more like you and not like one of these guys inside of a suit. Well, who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that, isn't he that Mario guy? What? He is? We'd better get him then. But dude, Lord Krupp told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah, right on. Let's rock this chump. One, two, three, break! Bring it on, bucko. But you're gonna have to give me a moment to switch back over to Goombella so I can tattle on you guys. Yeah, you were supposed to tattle on me to your Lord Crump guy. I'm gonna go ahead and tattle on you instead. So we're gonna go ahead and go to tactics. We're gonna swap back to Goombella temporarily. All right, and Goombella, what the heck am I fighting here? An x knot? What, did he get kicked out of the knot program and that's why he's an x knot? All right, here we go. That's an x knot. Says here it's classified as an enemy combatant. That description stinks. You think it means they're just low level foot soldiers? Max HP is four, attack is three, defense is zero. They drink these potions that make them all big and burly. Then they attack. One's easy, but if there's two or more, better watch out. Use your partner's moves and items to take them down. Can do. All right, so what, you're gonna drink some potions to make yourself stronger then? Darn it, that super guard training did nothing. This seems well choreographed too. There we go. I was gonna say, I should absolutely be able to do this. All right, here. Goombella, if you wanna go first and take out the guy in front, they have a defense of zero, right? There we go, boom, boom. Immediately eliminated, awesome. And then I'll go ahead and just power smash the next guy and that should do it. That should do the trick. And boop, there you go. Boom, baby. I still got those stylish moves though. Thank you, Goombella, and thank you, my lovely audience. Flurry, I wish you could have seen it, but I had to switch over to Goombella for research reasons, but I'll use Flurry later on. Crud, that stung, man. Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Crump isn't such a bad idea after all. See you later. At least they were smart to lock the door. Pretty slick handling, pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back here? Come out for Pete's sake. I found us a powerful ally. He's huge. Uh, are you sure your huge mustachioed man will try to eat us? Huh? Hey, who's that? Who else is back there? He's massive. I don't like him. He'll crush us, danger. Nice stash. It scares me so burly. Now, don't worry, everyone. This is Mario, and he's our friend. He's here to help. All those bad guys? Mario stomp every one of them, just like those last goons. Is this it? There are so few. Well, we have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario. Wait! How do we really know this burly fellow was our ally? He might be one of them! Puniper, what are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here. We can take back our tree. Ha, big bad Punio. Listen to yourself, trying to sound all important like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. And why are there so few of you here anyway? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons! The Elder, everybody, including your sister! What? Petuni! Everyone was captured and taken somewhere within this big tree. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we'd never heard of it. Oh. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've got to go look for them right away. What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything to those giant goons. And adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. Hey, I'm not that hairy. I just have a mustache. How can you say that? You can't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it. If we all get together, we can take on anyone, anywhere. 
So, who's with me, huh? Come on, everyone, let's pull our strength. Ha! Punio, Punio, Punio. You'll have to convince me, because I think you're losing it. Well, I do have Goombella, Coops, and Flurry with me. And I mean, Goombella was recently leveled up before I even started this chapter, so she's plenty powerful. Tell you what, you and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade. Ha! Like that'll ever happen, please. So what, you're just gonna sit here and do nothing? I, I don't, I'm not really, I don't really care about your respect, honestly. Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario? Right, come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help them. I mean, I let Koops join me. There you go. Let's take care of it then. Yeah, I, I don't really need your respect, you big puny guy. If you don't want to help me, you're just and your people die, then that's on you. All right. So here we are. Then can I do anything with this? Nope. Can I do anything with this? Nope. All right. Oh, but there is something here. We'll have to remember this for later. For now, we can't really do much else here, so we're just gonna keep going up. And no, I'm not gonna whack every single bush. Just the majority of them, but otherwise I ought to be fine. And I guess I can go ahead and swap back over to Flurry. We'll go ahead and get her battling some more. Here, we can even use the X button to startle this enemy and then whack him with a hammer. See, just like that. Oh, and we have another new enemy here, so I am gonna switch back over to Goombella temporarily. So I'll take out, well, no, I can't take out this enemy. Well, I guess I can, yes I can. So I'll take you out real quickly, boom. Yeah, there we go, eliminated! And then we'll switch you back over to Goombella real quickly. Sorry, Flurry, I know it was short-lived, but you were able to stun this enemy, so that was nice. Okay, and, nope, couldn't get the super guard on it. Never gonna be able to get it, ooh. Okay, so technically, I believe this counts as two different enemies, which is good that I have Goombella out, because that way I can tattle on both. Let's tattle on this one first. This is a mini Yux, only created from this other bigger enemy here, but Goombella will tell us more about it. That's a mini yucks, a creature made to protect the yucks. It can split into two. Max HP is one and defense is zero. Seems like they won't attack directly. These twerps are the reason you sometimes can't do any damage to the main yucks. They're a pain, but you have to beat them before the yucks. Flurry's pretty effective. All right, so now I can jump on this. Here we are, boom, boom. So the mini yucks is done. You don't get star points for it. It only had the one HP. All right, and now there's you. And super guard it. Nope, it's definitely not. Got one extra FP though, that's nice. All right, then you're gonna create another mini yucks. Okay, so Goombella, now I need you to tell me about the main yucks here. Yeah, it's okay that it keeps creating those mini yuxes, but I, outside of getting it from my tattle log, they can be kind of annoying, so you want to eliminate them as quickly as possible, because otherwise the main yucks will just keep creating them. That's a yucks! Says here it's a creature created in the Xnot labs. Max HP is three, attack is two, and defense is zero. According to this, attacks and items won't affect it if it has many yucks around it. So, if any mini yucks appear, take those out first. Duh! I can do that. I will continue to do that. Here we go then. So we'll do boom, style. Oh, nope. Uh, there we go. Got at least the one stylish. There we go. All right. Come on. Super guard practice. Here we go. And. Still can't get it. Wow. I am 0 for 3 right now. I mean, I'm 0 for like 20 in this game, but whatever. Here's what we're going to do. We're now gonna have Mario attack the main yucks, or the, the mini yucks here, and we'll have Goombella attack the main yucks because she'll deal more damage with her head bonks. So here we go. Get the stylus beforehand, there we are. And eliminated, thank you. And for all that trouble, we only get two star points from the main enemy, but we got two tattle logs for it. And, I'm at a, and you know, might I add, I'm at a nice amount of star points. So that's pretty good. Give me those coins, thank you, thank you. All right, flurry then, flurry then. Very good, and I think there's a tree in here that like gives you an item. Nope, just the one coin. All right, we'll keep going up then. This is an interesting looking tree though. It's very pretty, no doubt about that, but is the idea that the walls behind me, that's just supposed to be water, right? How is there water this high up just like casually here? If it was a waterfall, it'd be coming into here, right? At least a little bit, not sure. Anyway, Flurry was said to be effective against these enemies, let's give it a try. So we'll do boom, 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 right here, yes, yes, yes. There we go, at least, I at least got the stylish bonus. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just normal jump on this enemy then. So we'll do boom, boom. All right, thank you and goodbye. All right, let's see if I can get the super guards on these. So you are gonna go ahead and blast me with that. I got the super guard! Maybe Flourish is better at it, let's see. Nope, I was way too early with that one. Your timing messed me up, buddy. I can almost respect it. All right, now once again, Goombella said that Flurry was very effective on these enemies here, so let's give it a try. Okay. 
I don't really see what the difference was, but okay. I guess I probably did that wrong. So I'll just take out the regular X knot here. I'll try attacking the, the regular Yux next time and see if that's what Gumbella was talking about. And hey, this gives me a chance to spin the bingo wheel, so that's exciting. Nope, nope, okay. That one super guard moment, short-lived, I acknowledge. All right, you're gonna make yourself giant or something. That's fine, at least you don't attack this turn, and I'm just gonna take you out right here right now. Go ahead and get that mini Yux going. And I'll see if attacking the regular Yux is a possibility with Flurry. Probably not. I don't know why Gumbella would say that. Nope. Gumbella, I have no idea what you're talking about, but whatever. We're just gonna take this out real quick. Were you talking about me using the Gale Force from Flurry? Because that would make more sense. All right, let's see if I can spin the wheel, spin the wheel, and... Nope, I never get it. I never... Well, okay, I got it like once when it was first introduced in the game, but otherwise, I just haven't gotten it since. Oh, I also didn't really point this out, but you'll notice that Flurry... Oh, they, they all hate me because I'm making this battle take too long. Well, most of the audience is dry bones anyway, so <laughs> I'm not super worried about it. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and do a multi-bounce then. There we go, we'll do boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I don't know what Gumbella was talking about. Like, Flurry is useful here. Yeah, Koops can't hit it, but Gumbella, you can hit it. Flurry's not any more useful on these enemies than you are. At least I got the stylish for it, okay? Let's see if I can super guard this next attack. Come on, I, I can do this. Oh, hang on. Are you gonna give me a defense boost? I was kind of hoping that would come into play when I got star points, but the defense boost is fine too. So in theory, even if I don't super guard this, I shouldn't take any damage, right? Oh, never mind. Never mind. That was a mistake. I thought my defense was gonna be so high that I wasn't gonna take any damage from that, but nope, that was that was not <laughs> that was not the play. On that note though, I do want to talk about the music one more time. Because once again, we have new battle music because I am once again in a new location. They added like 30 different battle songs in the game. And I'm gonna keep talking about the battle music because there there just keeps happening to be more and more new battle songs. And that's really cool that they added like 20 different variations of the battle theme. It's cool to hear all the different variations too, because it's technically the same melody, just different variations. But yeah, this is a different song than what was playing back in the actual Bogley Woods, and I think that that's really, really cool. Elder! Peonio, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped, and this is our daring rescue of you. Oh, a rescuing, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting but I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Mm, let me think. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes, right. Your question. The rest of the punies, unfortunately, are locked away in the other cell. I don't mind telling you. Those uncouth vile goons just have no consideration whatsoever for the elderly. None, none, I tell you. Honestly, I have to ask. What's a puny like me supposed to do in a situation like this? I ask you, please, I want to know. But anyway, puny, I'll listen. Yes, listen to your elder. I have to say something vital to you. Listen up, mm, let me think. Where was I? Ah, yes, right. Your question. The rest of the punies, unfortunately, are locked away in the other cell. I don't mind telling you. Okay, big brother. Is that my Punio? Petuni! Thank heavens! You're here! You're safe! I knew you'd come for me, Punio. I just knew it! Of course I would, dear sister. And I brought us a mighty ally. Look at him! We're going to get you out of here right away, I swear! You just hold tight a second. Okay. Mario, listen! We've got to find the cell keys or we're going nowhere! Cell keys, huh? I mean, what's to stop me from just going on in and joining them? Hi, everybody. How's it going? How's it going? Goombella, you want to come in here, too? Yeah, come on in, Goombella. What you got? What you got? Hello? That's Punio's sister, Petuni! She really cares about her brother. I mean, you can just feel her love for him! I feel totally awful that she's all trapped in here. Let's hurry up and help her and the rest of them, okay? Yep, not a whole lot else we can do. But what happens if I use my hammer? Nothing. Oh, but hang on. There was a little tile in here. Let's keep that in mind for later, huh? For now, we shall exit and move right along into the next room, because we can't do much else here. Let's see. Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny punies we captured know anything about it. And they live here! 
And worst of all, I got stuck holding on to the stupid cell key. <sighs> so bored. Feels like a big old nap is in my near future. Um, ouch. Oh, well, isn't this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Hey, stop right there, Missy! You're that thieving girl we saw before! What are you doing here? Well, anyway, I heard there were some nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. Oh, how nice, thank you. Hmm, I just got flurries in the last part, and I got Ms. Mouses now. I think I like Ms. Mouses more. I certainly really like your design. Can we talk about that? You've got a really cool design for a mouse. <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Ew, not another smooch. This flirting is out of control. The precious crystal star you're looking for is beneath this tree, underground. Good luck finding it before the others. <laughs> Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again soon. What a cool design. I can't believe that girl. Oh, I can't stand her. Uh, my aching, hey you. You're the dirt bag, you hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty, and I'll be doing the dirting. <laughs> Bring it on, I'm ready for you. I could use a few extra star points to get closer to leveling up. It's just you, right? You got no one else helping you on the side? Great. Goombella, you wanna wrap this up for me nice and quickly? There we go, get that stylish bonus. There we go, boom, boom. Perfect, goodbye. Three extra star points. I hope I get that super mushroom from you too, but if I don't, no worries, it's not even what I came in here for. I just came in here to presumably access those treasure chests. Boom. Oh, you just flat out turned into a key. Nice, I'll take that. Always amusing to see that the key is always very close to some of those prison cells, huh? And we got, there, we got an ultra mushroom. Okay, to make up for the super mushroom that I didn't get from him. I don't believe there's anything else in here. This is otherwise just kind of a wasteful room. I mean, it's just a storage room, I get it. But what good is having a storage room if it has a window on it in case someone gets stuck in here, I guess? Or just to have some air coming through here? Although it's interesting, if this is water going up, how could there even be a little window right there that's not even blocked by the water? I guess I shouldn't question it. It does look pretty. Gumbella, you got anything to say? Looks like Crump left, us, left behind lots of the equipment he used to search this tree. Miss Mouse was here before, but I think she took the next train to Flirtsville. Yep, we'll see that mouse character again. We've only seen her twice. We gotta follow the rule of threes. All right, so we got the red key, so we'll go ahead and use this key over here. Boop. There we go. Thank you, thank you. How's that? Any better? Alder, we're back. We're here to rescue you. Foolish child! Punio, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut. Huh? What? Why? What did I do? Uh, listen, Alder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you, and mind your elders, you whelp. How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. But, but Elder, I just went to find help, to rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining. You never interrupt an Elder mid-lecture, never. You wonder why the other punies call you a doofus sometimes? That's why. And your time to be a doofus is over because I have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off and that is why you need to listen now, first of all. Several hours later, or I'm sorry, several hours later, or else, you got that? From now on, you've got to get your act together, Punio. Yes, Elder. Yes, I understand. Bah! Only answer once! But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Uh, I was just telling you, we came here to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good, in that case, get me out of here already. Criminy! This cell is cold, which isn't good for the old back, and there's this damp stench. Man, so many hours went by and they didn't even notice that I was busy res <laughs> rescuing people. Ah, uh, well, there she goes. Enough standing around. Just you wait, Petunie. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother, I'll be waiting. We need to find the blue key too, right, Mario? Let's go downstairs and ask the elder if she knows anything. I hope the answer is, you know, brief. Hopefully the answer is just, yeah, I know something. But whatever, we'll head on down then. Ah, elders, always ungrateful for when people do want to help them and always complaining when they're not helped. 
Don't I know it? All right. Well, it's a lot faster to go down than it is to go up because we can just jump on down here and we don't have to worry about fall damage in this game. So we'll keep going down this beautiful design of a tree and we'll see if we can catch up to the elder. That elder moves fast. You think that elder actually jumped down as well? I mean, I didn't speak, I didn't spend too much time speaking to the other punies real quickly, but whatever. I'm just gonna keep on going down then. And here we are. All right, how's that for ya? Well, if it isn't Punio. Hmph, you heard me, hmph. I can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get swelled, head. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not listening in antenna to help until you do. You summon mule! Despicable, how dare you talk like that, knowing what we're up against. That's what I was saying. The weirdo soldiers taking over the tree are bad enough, but now the Jabby tribe is helping them. We must stand together now. We must face them. Don't you understand that? What? The Jabbies and the intruders have joined forces? Then maybe the Jabbies have the blue key. Shut your trap, Puniper and Punio. And mind me, you hear? You'll help Mustachio over there. What'd you say your name was again? It was a uh, party, wasn't it? It's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, sheesh. He's only world famous. Come on. Yes, yes, simmer down, you. And everyone else help Mario clear out our tree. Yep, old people. Never remembering our names. That other guy freaking called me Murphy. At least this is closer. It has an O in it. Oh, all right, Elder. Whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm just worried about Petuni, too. And you're right. We have no choice. We must fight. Right, everybody? There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Whoa, 10 more party members. Well, I just got flurry at the start of the video. Okay, let's see. Punies abilities, a primer. No, nothing, nothing with the X button. All right, whatever. Thanks, you guys. Hey, if you're done rallying everyone, I have a question. We're looking for this crystal star thingamajig. Ever heard of it? The crystal star, eh? Hmm, yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down beneath the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? Oh, right, guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Marty, or Mario, I'm calling it. Your heart seems pure enough, so that funny colored stone is yours. I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet all this is connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that, Mario? Crystal star, underneath the bottom of the tree. Go to it. All right, I gotta work my way down somehow. Oh, hold your horses. I almost forgot something. Before you can get the crystal star, you must save all of the captured punies. Yup, you'll never get to that gem without the help of the punies. Not a chance. So, here, you'd better take this. It's the puny orb. It's the symbol of our leader. Looks like the sunstone I had back in Petalburg. If you place this in the pedestals or you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb out when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. Thank you! Got a puny orb. The emblem of a puny leader given to you by the elder. The punies will gather when it's placed within a pedestal. All right, guys, let's go rescue everybody. All right, and as you can see, we... Oh, oh and one more thing! So sorry, so sorry, I've been awfully forgetful as of late. On your way to the Crystal Star, if you lose any of the punies, come see me. What I'll do is, I'll give a whistle to call them all back here. You got all that? I got it. As I was saying, we now have a marker in the top left corner of the screen to showcase how many punies we have. It's kind of like playing Pikmin. Wherever I go, they will go, and we'll utilize their abilities in the next part, because for now, that wraps up this part of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in future videos, and I hope that you'll join me next time as I continue to explore this tree with 11 punies at my side. But for now, bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed what you saw, the best ways to support me are to click on the like button down below, and if you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment. Viewer engagement helps my videos perform better, so anything helps. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more fun gameplay videos. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye-bye, humans. Whoosh!